Can you elaborate on what you would, what constitutes a healthy mix of fats, and why, for that matter? I guess. Okay. Yeah. This this gets into dangerous territory, <laughs> because as I mentioned before, when you take carbs out of the, the majority of carbs out of a person's diet and train their body to burn, burn fat, how the body manages fat, the specific types of fat, changes dramatically. I mean, it's, it's remarkable how differently the body's economy of fat occurs. When you're eating a high carbohydrate diet, not only any, any saturated fat that you eat is probably going to get tucked away and stored. In addition, if you're carbohydrate intolerant eating a high carbohydrate diet, and some of that carbohydrate, as Jeff implied, is being made into fat, the mo majority of the fat made is saturated fat. So you've got a, a tendency to collect saturated fats on a high carbohydrate diet. If you go on a low carbohydrate diet and adapt the body to burning fat, the first fats in line to get burned are the saturated fats, then the monounsaturates, and then the polyunsaturates. And so you completely shift the body's economy of saturated fats and if they're, get, if they're getting rapidly burned on a low carbohydrate diet, they're not collecting, they can't do you damage. So this whole idea that saturated fats are bad is only when you're eating high carb. If you're eating low carb, saturated fats are now your body's preferred high octane fuel. They disappear, they can't do you harm. Mm -hmm. So the mix of fats to burn, if you're, where, where fat is most of your fuel, should be monounsaturates, and to some degree, saturates are okay.